interesting and embarrassing day for the liberals as Christian Freeland uh, mocks Pierre Polya because apparently he's wearing more makeup than her. Let's take a listen and then we'll react like usual. By borrowing more, that you stop inflation by printing money, and that you fight the drug overdose crisis by legalizing hard drugs. So at least they're consistent in their irrationality, Mr. Speaker. But now they've been forced to backtrack right before the election on their legalization of hard drugs because Canadians are revolting against the policy. Today we have a motion that will be voted in the House to permanently ban hard drugs. Will this government vote for that motion or will they admit that they plan to, to, to legalize drugs again after the next election? The, Deputy, the Honorable Deputy Prime Minister, Minister Finance. Mr. Speaker, the Conservative leader is wearing more makeup than I am. No, what in the world is going on here? So, no, I actually like how she was reprimanded, if you even want to say that, but at least he made her take back her words. That being said, right after, she sits down like an idiot because she doesn't realize that she still has time and has to answer the question, which she did not, like usual. But <laughs> you can see, like, like, remember last week or a few weeks ago when Pierre Polyev got kicked out of Parliament for using unparliamentary language? Well, phony, wacko, spineless, they're on the same page. But again, Craig Ferguson lets her get away with it because she's liberal, and the conservatives have to retract, and if they don't, they get kicked out. I made a video about this yesterday, clearly stating how Craig Ferguson is biased. I thought when he made her retract her words the first time, he would show some consistency and do it the second time, but that's not what happened. She gets away with calling him phony. Trudeau gets away with calling him spineless, but when Pierre Polyev says wacko, oh, that language is too much. It's absolute bullshit. And you can tell when she made that stupid comment about Pierre Polyev wearing makeup, she smiled after. Like, she wasn't sorry. She knew what she said. That was a deliberate attack on his appearance. And by the way, I just got to say this as well. If anybody who wasn't liberal, including Pierre Polyev, said that to a member of the Liberal Party... He, he's misogynistic, he's anti-trans, all this crap, right? But when they do it, it's fine because, oh, I was just making a silly joke. But when someone else makes a silly jokes, they're either racist, they're hateful, they're misogynistic, they're anti-gay, anti-trans. But when they do it, it's fine. Rules for thee, but not for me, I guess, right? Just more of that bullshit from the pandemic. It's, just, it's absolutely insane how... Pierre Polyev is banning or bringing up banning hard drugs, and her response is, "You're wearing makeup," I mean, which is wonderful. Why are you even saying? What does that have to do with banning hard drugs? Well, she meant to say that because he's phony, and then she did say phony, which is unparliamentary language. Remember, and nothing happens. I mean, what an absolute fool she is. First of all, and again, Craig Fergus needs to resign. I can't wait until the next election when all these liberal idiot MPs get thrown out on their ass and replaced with conservatives, and then maybe we can have our goddamn country back, because this is really just getting pathetic at this point. 
they're bringing up abortion when the conservatives have consistently said they're not going to do anything to change it, and they know they would get killed in the polls if they did say it. Even if they are lying and they are really going to do something, they're going to get it voted out in four years. That's not what they. That's not what they want. So, you know, like it's just everything that the Liberal Party is doing. They're just making things up and saying random things that don't even make sense. It's like Joe Biden's mind has infiltrated this party or something. It's insane how stupid these people are and how out of touch they are, and how hypocritical they are. Not just on making fun of men's appearances, but also on the climate. Again, I brought this up many times before. Everyone's got to, you know, feel bad for using your car. You got to feel bad if you're destroying the planet. Meanwhile, Trudeau's probably the, leaves the biggest carbon footprint in all of Canada, or at least one of them. You don't need a private jet to go on vacation, sir. Now, if I called him ma'am, I'd probably get banned from YouTube, right? Because, you know, that's hateful speech. Just bullshit how hypocritical they are on everything. But anyway, that's going to be it. Hopefully the liberals actually keep embarrassing themselves because it is, although it is frustrating, it is good for us because the more they embarrass themselves, the more chance they have to um, continue to get hammered in the polls. And I think most of us want to see that, especially for those of you who watch my channel. Uh, so that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will be back.